On this Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we are reminded how far we've come and how far we have to go. The impending visit by our first black president is an indication of the progress. But overt discrimination still exists in Idaho in ways that Dr. King worked so hard to overcome, not just for blacks, but for everyone. I still have a dream. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was about fairness and civil rights for all. He fought against the injustice that allowed covenants like this one from Boise in the 1950s. It states only whites could rent a house. The covenants come from a neighborhood not far from Crescent Rim, one of the most scenic areas in Boise. And it's not surprising that back in the 1950s, minorities were excluded. What is surprising is that in this day and age, outside the Boise area, there is still one minority that can legally be excluded. People can put that on a rental application. We will not rent this home or apartment to gays or transgender people. I think that it's it's astronomically uh, absurd that it's 2015 and we still have the ability to say we will not rent this to you because of who you are. The battle for equal rights for the LGBT community is picking up steam in Idaho as indicated by the huge turnout for an add the four words rally over the weekend. This is the year for our legislators to add four words. Sexual orientation and gender identity to the Idaho Human Rights Act. A request I have a dream. that gains significance on a day that reminds us of the extreme sacrifice made in the name of equality. By the way, it has taken nine years for the House Ways and Means Committee to hold the first hearing on Add the Words, which will happen next week. The ACLU says there are only 10 cities in Idaho, including Boise, that protect the rights of the LGBT community. Elsewhere, they can still be evicted from their homes or even fired from their jobs just because of their sexual orientation.